Hello, hello friends. I am just jumping on today with kind of a quick mind soulful moment or minute. I'm still debating which name I like best to talk about some of the things that I know are plaguing a lot of my friends out there because of what's going on right now. So we're going to talk today about don't do nothing just because you can't do everything. So for those of you that are new to me, hello, hello, hello. My name is Brooke Sidney. I'm a spiritual wellness coach and speaker as well as a soul story coach. And I help people in two major ways. The first thing that I do is I help people drop the stories around their experiences and challenges and so forth in life and help them mentally with mindset tools and advice and literally being that sounding board, that cheer person, the person with a renewed mindset to help us break through and get out of those things. I especially work with my fellow single ladies and single mamas um, because I really care that we are pressing on and pressing forward and presenting the best possible example for our little ones. And then I also work as a soul story coach, really uncovering all those amazing stories that we have hidden inside, the stories that God wants us to birth. So I do that as a ghostwriter, author, coach, editor, and publishing consultant. But today I'm hopping on because I wanted to talk about the fact of don't do nothing just because we can't do everything. So hello, you guys that are watching. So many of us know right now we're seeing all the things that we can do, right? We can make magnificent meals, we can start a new business, we can like build out these amazing relationships with our families and our friends, we can clean up our house, we can you know create new organizing projects. Like one of the challenges with the time right now and, and quarantine life is that we feel that we have so much time and we feel like there's so much that we can do that at times it could be overwhelming, right? It could be overwhelming. You know, as an author, coach, and editor, I have people coming to me right now and saying, oh my gosh, I can't even write, right? Because they're thinking all of a sudden now that you're, you're home, you need to finish the book. Of course, I would love for you to finish the book, but the most important thing you have to do to finish a book or do anything is to take the first step or begin the writing process. Even if you put a hundred words on the page, that's a hundred out of your head and now out, that is one step towards that book, right? And I say that to my author clients. And then through my spiritual wellness clients, which is more what we're talking about today, it's more about, first of all, giving yourself grace, right? Because this is a special time, we're in a special place, but allowing yourself to know that it's not about doing everything in this moment. The goal right now is to really just figure out what can you do every day towards some of the things that matter most to you. If you listen to my Mind Soulful Monday, I talked about, oh no, I think it was actually a special one I did on Tuesday. I talked about doing you, right? Like tuning into God, figuring out what it is that you're supposed to be doing right now. All of us are totally different. We have completely different family situations, work, right? And so it's so important right now that we're not just following someone else's direction in terms of the things we're supposed to be doing, but truly tuning in. If you didn't listen to that message, go back and hear it. But once you have an idea of the things that you want to do or what God is asking you to do, you don't have to do everything, especially not today. Instead, I wanna invite you and encourage you to instead of thinking about the magnitude and the bigness of a project, whether that's a book, whether that's organizing your kitchen, whether it is um, you know, creating a business, that you just endeavor to do one thing each day, right? One manageable thing each day, one thing that sits right in your spirit, one thing that actually feels good. And then you figure out a way to do that, right? Um, but what I don't want people to do right now and what I'm encouraged um, to share and what you know God is, is showing me is that it's not about doing everything in this moment. It's about taking that one small step. It's about doing something every day. It's about breaking up the projects. It's about giving ourselves grace. It's about being in step with God and that requires listening to God as we are moving through all the things that we are being tasked to do right now. And I believe it's also mixing in some fun and some relaxation and rest 
because we all know, um, or at least I want to encourage you guys to be working on your immunity. I mean, there's so much focus right now. This is kind of a tangent on um, the virus, but really long term, we need to be building up our immunity and taking care of our health. So getting stressed out right now, that's not the goal. Not getting sleep, not resting, not getting hugs, not getting love. We have to make time for those things. So for all these big projects that you feel like it's quarantine time projects and quarantine life and so forth, the adjustments to work, I'm just encouraging you to do one small step every day. Do one small thing towards your projects that you're trying to get done and release this heaviness of having to do everything, which ends up making a lot of us do nothing. And for those of you that need help with your books, you know where to find me. Apply to work with me, bit.ly forward slash BJH book chats. And for those of you that really know that your spiritual practice needs to be adjusted so that you could have more peace, more power, and feel the presence of God greater, then book one of my new sessions at a brand new rate. I'm going to stick all those links below when I get off this. But I really wanted to get on it and encourage you that you're doing the right thing. You're staying healthy. You're spending time with loved ones. You're managing so much right now. And that is the most important thing to cut yourself some grace and just do one thing on your list of things that you would like to get done. You don't have to do everything. You guys have an amazing what's today, Thursday, and I will talk with you soon.